we're at the very crowded PlayStation Vita demo place, the Tokyo Game Show. We're, we're playing Rayman, but it looks like, um, I don't understand exactly what we're supposed to be doing. This seems to be some, some sort of introductory program to teach you how to use the multi-touch screen. The screen is really big. It's much bigger than the PSP screen. It's got the uh, dual analog pads, which work really nicely, quite nice feel to them. It's got the usual PlayStation button array. It's got the two shoulder pads. And here's the, the touch pad on the back. Oh, a lot of games are using this for kind of an array of, of, of weird gameplay features. Um, it's really nice and light. It's not heavy at all. I was expecting it to be heavier, actually. Who knows what this mini game's about? It seems to be some sort of weird counting game. It comes with accelerometers. So this mini game is using those, so you actually, uh, you move it left and right to move your little stick man on the skateboard left and right, and you physically jump it like that to make him jump. So this is a uh, luminous and the idea is to make cubes of the same color match up on the screen. It's pretty it's pretty standard controls so far. They're playing the Chemical Brothers as well, which is very typical luminous. The analog control is really really sensitive, so I'm finding I'm uh, pushing the blocks too far left and right. Immediate thoughts are the um, OLED screen is looks very big. Um, it's really, really clear, really crisp, really nice visuals. The two analog sticks are really nice to use, but they're really, really sensitive. Uh, so I was finding on Luminous, which is a kind of Tetris style game, that just the slightest touch was bringing my uh, shapes right across the screen, which is really off-putting and quite hard to deal with. So I think I'm really gonna have to get used to that. It's kind of a, a really good size, slightly bigger all around than the PSP. It's a nice machine, I think, What's annoying so far is that the games I've seen haven't really made use of the, the touchpad on the back, which I think is probably one of the most useful uh, parts of the PS Vita as a, as a games machine. It's still very hard to tell how it's going to do uh, compared to a lot of the other games here. And we've already seen some iPad games on the show floor, and that really is going to be PS Vita's main competition. It's can this kind of really nice high-end games machine, however lovely it is, can it compete against mainstream smartphone and tablets.